I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Okay, it's actually fairly nice out here today. Let's see if I can't get this plug out without damaging it. These little rubber plugs have a tendency, especially after they've been in there for a while, they, they shear off and then you end up with a little rubber plug down in the bottom of the hydraulic jack. And that's never a good day. So let's see if we can get some hydraulic oil in there. I bought these two quarts of hydraulic jack oil at Tractor Supply closest place to me. Cut that open. Now I've got to open the seal on it. That's a kind of a nice bottle. A little core spout on it. I can't keep my trash all in one spot so I can clean it up. Now I got two quarts. I'm thinking one quart should do it, but it's always better to have a little extra than to not have enough. Set it in like that, and then flip that around like that. Now if oil starts pouring back out of this thing, as soon as I pull this, then I know I've got a full. Nope, it's not full. Didn't it didn't think it was, but you know. Better to find out early than to waste a whole bottle of oil. Let's see what difference that makes. Before anybody asks, yes, this would be a real good thing to have a hydraulic cylinder on. Pulling the handle just once, much better than pumping that little bar for who knows how many times. Okay, let's stop jacking. It's either out of oil or it's all the way fully extended. Either way, I think I'm pretty much straight up. That's pretty good. I got a fair reach on it, too. Let's start the tractor up, see how high I can actually get it to go up.
I'm six foot, and that's easily twice my height. So I think I got about a 12 foot reach. I could go get a tape, but it doesn't matter to me that much. That's kind of cool. I can actually set something up on the roof with that thing. Pretty nifty. Okay, we'll back up and hook onto that log, see if I can pick the log. It's gonna screw up, I want it to do it slowly. This chain is ridiculously big for this job. But it's the one that I got right handy and easy to get to. on the lift is four to one. I think the log is frozen down and doesn't want to move. in the ice, I think I can bump it with this back of the tractor.
get it broken free of the ice. Now the engine hoist chain is only a quarter inch, so a three-eighths chain is definitely over what I need to have. There we go. crazy. Front wheels aren't coming off the ground. I don't think I'm overloading anything. We'll start the engine and we'll pick the boom up with the hydraulics on the tractor. I don't think I'd want to drag anything that way. With that high in the air, if you caught that load while you were pulling it, it would flip the tractor over backwards. Now the hoist is going to act a little bit like a ROPS, rollover protection system, but I'm not going to trust my skin to the idea that that rollover protection is going to really do any good. So, all things considered, Looks like the project is a success. I'll be able to pick that lawnmower up without any trouble at all. And I can do that either with the bottle jack on the hoist lift or I can do it with the hydraulics on the tractor. Very happy with what the result is. Okay, I'm going to drop it back down. Get this put back away where it belongs. I think we've got a success here, guys. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.